Hello community. Today I want to give you one or two of my personal workflow optimization techniques. First, let's have a look. Let's say a new Llama 2 model has been published and the first code how to fine tune a Llama 2 LLM has been posted somewhere on the internet. Should you go the very first moment, download the code and experience and try to make this code work for your compute environment, for your specific data set on your compute infrastructure. So let's look at this. We have here from GitHub GIST, and here we have an author who provides us his code for fine tuning the LAM2 model, a simple Python file. As you can see, last active one hour ago, and as you can see here, this is it. We operate here, of course, in PyTorch. We load our data sets. We have our PEFT here from the Hugging Face library. We use here bits and bytes configuration, the tokenizer, the trainings argument for our fine tuning trainer. And you authorize this example fine tunes the Llama 2 model on a specific data set using the quantized LoRa methodology. She gives us here the, the version he used from Accelerate, Path to Bits and Bytes, Transformer, TRL. Great, and then you have here the code. And you can go there, you can copy the code, and a lot of people go there. And the very first hour and the very first day when this code has been released, they say, copy, string copy, and they try to run the code, and they do not succeed. Let me show you why. Now, in the open source community, there is a beautiful community that works together, but it takes time. It takes some days. So what I would like to show you here, the comments, we forget the earlier comments. It's about, I don't know, one and a half weeks ago that this code was published, that the model was published. So what we have, we have to first come and say, Hey, I have an error about this. Then somebody comes up and says, yeah, uh, I was having a hard time getting this work correctly, but I think I managed to get a stable training here on an A100 GPU with some beautifully, carefully drafted parameters, as you see here, BF16 here, whatever required to ensure that the trainer uses the same brain float 16 to ensure bits and bytes also used brain float 16. So it leads a lot of issues, yes, yes, yes. And then the author comes back and says, hey, that makes sense. Thanks a lot for your help. I will run some tests and update the GIST accordingly. So here we have now some words, some updates in our code. And as you can see, this happened, I don't know, five, six, seven days later. So if you just copy the code and never looked back, this is your mistake because the community is working to optimize the code. Look, here the next user says, here, I uh, executed this and got a runtime error. And some user said, hey, my bits and bytes version is 040 and it reports an error. And then the order comes back and says, okay, this zero loss that we had has been reproduced and it seems to be fixed by adding here a simple piece of code, tokenizer padding side is right, right before the initialization here of our trainer. There's some weird overflow, but he also fixed the GIST accordingly. So again, he optimized here the code. So you see with every arrow that the community comes back says, Hey, I have a problem or I have got a solution to this. This is how, how the open source community should work. This is great. Yes. It goes on said, Hey, thanks for the fix. I have here users had here a free call up. I made here for a specific configuration. So if you're working on a specific GPU and a 100, here is my call up notebook, go and try it out yourself. And this is great because if you work on an a 100, which is more or less now a default cloud Nvidia data center GPU, you can really run this program. Yeah, it goes on. Yes, yes, yes. Some users said, Hey, if I use this, this, and this, it stabilized the training where the drops, there was a problem with a certain value drops to zero. Yes. Comes back. Great. 
of course you have questions how to do this and how to do that. Some user says, hey, there's an argument missing here somewhere. Uh, do not forget to set here the maximum step, the parameter to minus one, otherwise it will overwrite something. So you see, it takes time. It takes about one week, maybe two weeks, till this code has really been battle-proof and tested by the community. And it goes on and on and on and on. And then here, let's say four days ago, in our example here, the author comes back and says, hey, that's amazing to hear. Thanks for testing all these things up. This is as it should be. This is a good example how the community works together. People come back and says, hey, I can confirm changing the data type to BrainFloat 16 and running training here on an RTX 4090, not in a Google Colab fixed all of my issues so you see there is some optimization for some specific environment or even for some specific gpus so what is here to learn it goes on and on and on and eight hours ago was some notice hey the default learning rate should probably be significantly lower in the official demonstration by meta they go as low as this particular value on my own run however the results were poor if i go beyond a certain threshold. So you see, I start here to read the comments first to understand what happened with this specific code implementation. And then about one week or two weeks later, I start to implement the code. So whenever you see somebody here, the very next day a code has been released or a model has been presented telling you, yes, I, I already made it work and it works great and i converted everything and it's perfect now in the most cases uh, this might not be the optimal solution so you see now after one and a half weeks i now go there and i say hey great i use this file in my own environment with my cloud account or with my local gpu and then i can be sure that it for that at minimum, my test runs will be stable and I will be able to execute here the fine tuning of the Llama 2 model on my specific data set. Just wanted to tell you this, be careful, go back after some days, definitely after a week or maybe like I do after one and a half and two weeks and professional developer, professional coder, like here in our example here, this person this is perfectly how the open source community works together to make this code work for you. So I know you want to try out everything the moment it is published, but hey, this is open source. This is what we are trying out as a community. So you need to be a little bit patient, wait one or two weeks. And believe me, you could spend weeks and months trying the very first pre-release version but you will only run into problems into troubles and you will spend a month of your life trying to debug the code so i use it now in a very different way and i just wanted to tell you this is maybe a way you should have a look at now the second tip i would like to give you is you have different elements in your code sequences. Have a look if there are updates available. Now, I would like to show you here about QLora, quantized Lora that we just saw in the Python file. Here, the creator, Tim Detmers, in his uh, Twitter account here, July 26, 2023, says, hey, great, so just wanna inform you, there seems to be, we, we did a lot of um, verification on Roberta, on the Llama model, on the T5 LLM, and it works. However, there seems to be here something like a bug discovered a week ago where the integration failed. And they said, yeah, this bug made it impossible to load the saved adapters, you remember, Laura, correctly. We think this was the only bug, but according to the community, there seems to be another bug. Okay, so we see here, you see, month after the official code has been published in the open source community, they are still finding ways to optimize it. Maybe there is a bug or 
and this is great, comes back and says, hey, a uh, second factor is that after the training of the LoRa adapters, in this particular model, there is this particular condition where these bias can be fatal. We will try to measure this and come back to you. And this is exactly what you expect as a professional open source developer that the creator says, hey, we found something from the feedback from the community. Maybe there's a bug, so we will optimize the code again. We will take care about some other issues of the code. And this is great. So, but what it tells us, then we use this code here so that the developer says, hey, thanks, we made more than a thousand experiments with this particular quantized LoRa code, but despite this, there are many unknowns. And this is exactly what happens almost with anything you have in artificial intelligence today. They try hard to optimize their code, they are transparent, they tell you, but you have to go and check here. Everybody, every developer posts on GitHub, somewhere else here, Tim posts here on Twitter, some go on whatever social media they have. So you have to follow those creators of the new code, or if you know a person, in a specific company, with a specific background, in a specific university, go follow them on Twitter, follow them on different social media accounts. I have a particular list of, I don't know, more than 300 people that I follow, where I know more or less exactly where they contributed and if they post updates. So once a week, once every two weeks, I go and I check the code. Because, you know, what's really, really time consuming you are exactly here in the first bug where you try to save some weights or whatever and you try to remerge and you fail. You as a user, you fail and you think it's your fault. But actually, well, maybe <laughs> just in 1% of the cases, it is not your fault and you just have to update here to the latest version. So do not forget that the libraries you use or other scripts that you use or other dependencies that you have in your code sequences. Please take care, check for the latest version where now you see here, they said, yeah, very much appreciate the support of the open source community. What would help us a lot is to get more evidence of failure cases so we can home in on the potential bugs. If you face issues, please let me know. So this is the way the open source community works. This is great. This is great to be here an active part of it. But if you are a user and you use this for your application, please be aware there are constant updates. And if, for example, when quantized LoRa was new, I waited for about three, four weeks before I really applied here this particular piece of code because I know about the complexity and you cannot expect that one or two persons working on this, the very first iteration, then they get it perfectly right for every possible environment, for every possible configuration, for every possible NVIDIA GPU, I don't know what. So it takes time. After this time passed and you took all these measures, you will get some beautiful models and you will be rewarded with the performance of those AI systems. This is it for today. I hope it was informative. It would be great to see you in my next video.